so the easiest of all is if you have been presented with a .pem file say this was created with a name of accessing it from a Linux machine but now you have a windows machine then uh, there is a workaround on how to go about it so that you are able to access it on a windows machine so we are going to use which is a sub application of the putty application that we installed to convert the .pem file that we have downloaded to a .ppk file which again we are able to access our instance on SSH from our Windows machine. So what you need to do, I just need to click on the Windows button. So there is this application, put a, put a gen. just click on that. So in here, I am going to load this. And in the downloads, I need to search for uh, the file that we just downloaded here, the .pem file. I just need to enable here, all files so that I am able to view uh, the .pem file. So just select that, open. It has been imported, right? So the next thing will be saving it as a private key. So just click on save private key button, then confirm. You just want to proceed without setting a key phrase. We do not need that for now, right? So still in the download, let me just name it pem demo dot ppk so even if you do not import uh, the extension it will be saved as a dot ppk file so just click on save All right so we believe a dot ppk file has been generated from our dot pem file so the next thing is now working with putty right so in here i need to import the host name or the IP address. So back to the EC2 instance. Let me just go back here. So we have this public IPv4, right? So we are able to use this public IPv4 address on this field here. Alternatively, let me just duplicate this. Click on connect. So alternatively, we have this public DNS with, that we can also use. So let me work with the public IPv4 right once that has been set uh, we need to navigate to this section we need to work with the connection ssh then click on expand out then we have credentials we need to to browse for the ppk file that we have just converted so just click on browse then we have this this should be the ppk file 